fishing here and this morning we're going to be skipping some of these mangroves with a fluke style bait maybe a couple different fluke style baits we're gonna be looking for some snook and some tarpon uh, i'm already starting to see some tarpon roll so that's a really good sign small ones but still uh, i'm gonna start off throwing this fugan squad dart just a fluke style bait and we may switch it up to something like a little mullet or a doa airhead something like that so y'all stay tuned let's get on some fish Big bust right there. Big bust. Oh, you got it, you got it. Snook right off the rip. I was just gonna say, I'm pretty late. Oh, that's a tarpon. That is not a snook, that's a tarpon. We got a tarpon on, boys. He's a small one on the Guggen Squad dart. He's gonna come up. He got some weeds with him. That is so cool. Oh yeah, get him up here. Freaking tarpon to start the day. How cool is that? Probably a two pound tarpon. Nice. Check that out guys. Tiny little baby silver king on the Guggen Squad dart. How awesome is that? I'm gonna snap a couple pictures real quick. Get this boy on his way. All right, let's get this hook out of him. He's hooked like not even in the mouth. That's crazy. I'm gonna try to give this guy the best release that I can. Cause he has a tarpon and we don't get too, too many of them in here. And I wanna make sure I keep him as healthy as possible. So I'm just gonna get in the canal with him. All right. There's our little tarpon. Literally my first cast of the day. I just saw him roll like maybe five minutes ago. And he just nailed it. I thought it was a snook. There he goes. How freaking awesome is that? Got dirt on my reel. Just gonna carry water. That was freaking awesome. I mean, I was not expecting to catch a freaking tarpon on my first cast. I just saw something bust over there. I thought for sure it was probably a 20 inch snook or so. I just flipped the dart right in front of him got nailed, set the hook, and realized it was a tarpon. So I'm gonna re uh, retie a little bit, because it's just a little bit frayed. And we're gonna get back in there, because I see some more rolling, and I also see some snook busting. Very, very unexpected first cast fish. But I see more. We're all retied. Let's see if we can get maybe a snook. And if we're lucky, we can actually complete a canal slam which is a snook, tarpon, and a largemouth. But we don't really have too many largemouths in here. So, I don't know, it's still a possibility though. We're just gonna keep skipping these mangroves. Looking for, uh, like I said, snook and tarpon. All right, let's see what we are working with today. I kinda wanna throw something that'll work for small tarpon and snook so yeah i'm gonna throw this doa airhead see what it can do for us it's rigged up with the same hook it's just a weightless four -aught, um screw lock hook and i'm just gonna tie a little loop knot to that loop knot is usually what i always use either a loop knot or a uni all right airhead's not a bad option Let's uh, move down the canal a little bit, see what we can find. Oh, these birds are going to spook the fish. Oh yeah, I hear some snook behind these mangroves. That's why I need to get a kayak. I've been really considering to get a kayak. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Should I get a kayak or not? Because like, ponds like this, I can get to, you know, spots of nowhere I can reach on foot. And even like wade fishing, like, you know, that can only go so far. So let me know what you think in the comments. Should I get a kayak or no? Bridge. 
this one's quite a bit deeper so and it's more salt water I'm thinking maybe just maybe we got something on it All right guys, so I just tied up this three inch NLBN paddle tail. <clears throat> this is the greenback pattern. I actually put it on a Heli Out Butter jig head, which means pretty much just a white jig head. Um, I put it on the paddle tail because throwing fluke style baits is pretty much just like throwing a top water. It's pretty much good till the sun comes up or unless you're fishing shade lines, which I'm not really fishing too many shade lines. So I figured put on the paddle tail, it'll work a little bit better for um, different scenarios. So the next couple spots we're gonna go to, I feel like this paddle tail is gonna be key, but we're gonna throw it around this bridge just for a little bit and then head to a different spot. All right, so we're at the next spot. And at this spot, we're looking for um, black drum, redfish, tarpon, and snook. Oh, I'm snagged. Okay. Alright, so I just broke off the NLVN. I'm going to tie up a new leader. Put on a different lure and we're going to keep fishing. Alright guys, so I just tied up a fresh 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I put on this 3 inch DOA cow with a 16 ounce jig head. As I'm tying on, I'm seeing a couple tarpon starting to roll. I think I even saw a couple redfish moving around, so um, hopefully they'll want to eat this little paddle tail. It's a pretty like stained color for the stained water, so it should work. Got a redfish right here in front of me. It's like a 23 inch redfish. All right, I'm just walking up the canal. We got two snook right here, both about 20 inches. I'm gonna see if they'll eat. No, he didn't even look at it. Let's see if the other one will. They're small, but still snook. That one just kind of circled around on it. I, don't, I can't tell if he's interested or not. They're just chilling. All right, so I just spotted like a 22, 23 inch snook here in the creek. I'm gonna see if he'll eat this DOA paddle tail. Chances are he'll probably Oh my God, he nailed me. Oh, oh my god, he's bigger than I thought. Oh my god, he's like 28. He has nowhere to run. That's insane, he just freaking nailed it. Just sight fished him, he's just sitting there. Don't break me. It's around his gill plate. I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon. That was insane. This fish is like 28 inches. Oh my goodness. Big creek snook. It's right in the corner of the mouth, that's perfect. Big creek snook, big creek snook. Oh my God, this is crazy. I gotta grab him. Oh my God. And that's a fish landed. Oh God. Well, how's that for a creek snook? Just sight casting him. Freaking DOA cow down his throat. Oh my God. Let's get this guy up here. We're gonna get a quick, quick measurement on this fish. I, I say he goes 28 to 30. That's a slot fish all day out of a mud creek. That's insane. That paddle tail just came out like nothing. All right, real quick, we're gonna get the measuring tape out. All right. Lip. Pinch the tail on 29 and a half. 29 and a half. That's freaking insane. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna get a couple pictures. Let this guy go.
All right, we're gonna get this guy back. That is a fired up, healthy 29 and a half inch snook. I knew that thing would go 30. I knew he would all day. All right, let's get this guy back and give him the best release that we can. All right. He is ready to go already. Let's take one last look. That's freaking awesome. Freaking good. In a creek. He's already ready to go. There he goes. Wow. That was insane, guys. I mean, just like, check out this creek. It's such a narrow, tiny, tiny little creek. I just saw him sitting like on an edge. Just freaking took the paddle tail, flipped it in front of his face, and right as it touched the water, he just nailed it. That was crazy. Right as I'm going home, too. All right, I'm gonna get back to the house. I'm gonna come back out at about five in a few hours. And it should be more fired up with the tide. So uh, we should do good. So I'll catch y'all later around five, six o'clock. All right, guys. So it is now heading into the evening time. It's about 4.30 um, in the afternoon. And the tide is at its highest point right now. And it's going to start flowing out. So we're going to fish the outgoing tide. We're going to be looking for some snook and some tarpon. Um, got on some fish earlier. But, uh. It's time to really get on them with this good tide. Hopefully, hopefully we can. All right, on to the next spot. It's flowing pretty good. Um, the tide's actually gonna get higher, I can tell. So it's just gonna be flowing in for the next probably hour. And then it's gonna like switch and then start going out. Oh, big fish, big fish right behind it. Oh my god, he just ate it and turned around with it. Just came out of his mouth. I couldn't tell if that was a snook or a tarpon. Whatever it was, was really big though. Alright, so I'm staring at like a 22, 23 inch redfish. I'm gonna see if he'll eat. Probably not. But you never know. He just went down deep again. He was just surfacing. Got like a 22, 23 inch redfish. About the same size as the one I saw earlier. Oh, oh, he just grabbed it. Little snook just came out and nailed it. Oh my God, and we got two for it. Jesus Christ! Freaky 35 inch snookers came out and nailed them. Oh my God! Again, again. Got grass on it, I don't even care. Oh my God, he's right under it. He saw the grass, he didn't like that. Oh my God, twice in a row. That thing's like 35 inches. Oh my goodness gracious. A freaking monster. Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's uh, video. So uh, we came out this morning, first thing in the morning, very first cast of the day, caught like a little two pound tarp and that was great, that was insane. On the Guggen Squad dart, it's a little fluke style bait, just pitching it like up against the mangroves over here. I actually caught that tarpon right there off that little mangrove point. But uh, then we had some action, saw a redfish, which I had never really seen in the canal here. That was, that was great. Um, came out again in the middle of the day. Didn't have really much happen at all. We saw some tarpon and whatnot, but on my way back, I fished a little creek and I sight casted a 29 and a half inch snook. That was just insane. If you guys saw the way that that thing just, but doom, that thing just ate it. Um, oh, we got a fish busting down there. But anyways, um, and then we come out here in the evening time, because I figured with the high tide and the way the, the tide's outgoing, it'll be even better. But uh, we had a freaking 35 inch snook whale the doa uh the doa air, airhead not once but twice he came back for it and the fish he was swimming with had to be 40 inches it was huge but uh i'm gonna keep fishing for about 15 to 20 more minutes and i'll let you guys know if anything happens but if not 
Um, until next time, y'all stay safe, keep fishing, and tight lines. I'll catch y'all on the next episode of Simple Florida Fishing.